श्री गजानन महाराज शेगाव देर इज हार्डली एनी ऑथेंटिकेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द अर्ली लाइफ ऑफ श्री गजानन अवदूत पॉप्युलरली नोन एज गजानन महाराज इज प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ डेट ऑफ बर्थ पेरेंटेज एक्सेट्रा आर श्राउडेड विद मिस्ट्री ऑल द पीपल स्पेकुलेट दैट ही वॉज बॉर्न इन अ प्लेस नेम सज्जिनगर इन महाराष्ट्र इट हैज बिन एक्सपीरियंस दैट द टर्मिनल पॉइंट्स बर्थ एंड डेथ इन द लाइफ ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल एडवांस सोल्स इज ऑफ एन मिस्टिकल श्री गजानन महाराज डिड नॉट रिवील अबाउट इज पास्ट एंड डिड नॉट एनकरेज पीपल टू सर्च फॉर इट हावेवर श्री गजानन अवदूत वॉज फर्स्ट नोटिस कलेक्टिंग लेफ्ट ओवर फूड आइटम्स इन अ गार्बेज डम ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ विलेज शेगाव इन महाराष्ट्र बाय अ पर्सन नेम बंकट लाल अगरवाल द महाराज ऑल दो हैविंग द शाइनिंग एंड एक्सट्रीमली हेल्दी बॉडी वॉज एट दैट टाइम इन अ सुपर कॉन्शियस स्टेट विदाउट अ सेंस ऑफ हिज बॉडी फॉर ही हैड नो क्लोथ्स ऑन हिज पर्सन Bankat Lal who had earlier associated with some spiritually advanced persons since that the apparently crazy person collecting food from the dustbin might be a siddha it was 23 february 1878 bankat lal along with a friend named damodar pant kulkarni approached maharaj with humility and asked maharaj why are you eating leftover food if you are hungry i will certainly make arrangements for you However Maharaj paid no heed to his words and continued to eat his food in a state of utter detachment. Seeing this Bankat Lal ran to the ashram situated nearby collected whatever food he could and came back to Maharaj. As he offered food Maharaj mixed up all the food items and gulped it down. It may be understood that the saints at this level actually do not have a sense of taste as they are beyond the body state. Bankat Lal thereafter went away to collect some drinking water. By the time he returned he was shocked to see Maharaj happily drinking water from the reservoir meant for cattle. Bankat Lal was convinced that he was in the presence of no ordinary mortal but a highly evolved spiritual entity. He prostrated in reverence and asked for blessings. By the time he lifted his head Maharaj had vanished from there. Bankat Lal again found Maharaj on the evening when he went to the old Shiva temple to join the worship. He was overjoyed to find him and in an emotionally choked voice requested Baba to come and stay in his house. Maharaj on his request came to his house from where his divine function Leela started. One day Maharaj quietly strayed away to another village named Adga. At about midday when the sun was on the high he approached a farmer cultivating his land and requested for drinking water. The farmer had with him the farmer named Bhaskar Patel. thought that he was one of the ordinary types of mendicant sadhus and started rebuking him saying that he would not give a drop of water which he has carried from home to a sadhu who is a parasite on the society maharaj only smiled without any reaction and slowly walked towards that looked like an old well bhaskar patel again started teasing him from behind saying that it is a dry well and how can any fool get water from there Maharaj reached the well and meditated for a few moments and soon the well which was dry for about 12 years was filled with clean water he quenched his thirst with this water seeing this miracle bhaskar patel realized that he maharaj was no ordinary man and profusely applauds for his intemperate behavior the sadgurus are the ocean of love and mercy and they are incapable of getting annoyed or angry far to speak of being revengeful to the creations of god that is why the epithets kripa sindhu ocean of grace or dayanidhi abode of mercy etc are used for them seeing the plight of bhaskar patel moved maharaj told him that he has created water for him in the well so that patel does not have to carry water from the village strenuously every day for cultivation or drinking the love that we sometimes feel within us the depth of kindness that stirs in our heart when we are in touch with the sadguru is because the sadguru first showers his total love and compassion on us without any qualification and even without our asking this is what is known as ahetuk kripa the grace without asking thus by total sacrifice of himself the sadguru tries to evolve his children towards their goal and teach that sacrifice for others without any intention of getting returns raises godly qualities in human beings the sadguru teaches by his own examples that in order to shine one must sacrifice oneself no one can truly help others without any sacrifice on himself once maharaj invited by bankatlal went to his farmland to eat corn stalk bhutta 
Baba along with a group of devotees sat under a tree lit fire and started roasting the corn bhutta nobody had seen that there was a honey bee hive on the tree as the smoke from the fire reached the hive the honey bees got out in swarms and started stinging everybody except maharaj all of the devotees ran away all the honey bees thereafter settled on the body of maharaj who continued to stay unmoved and his normal composure suddenly bankatlal saw this from a distance and was moved by the plight of maharaj when he approached maharaj to render help maharaj addressing the honey bees said you go back to your own place my dear devotee bankatlal should suffer no pain no sooner than he uttered these words that the entire swarm of honey bees returned back to the hive the devotees on return saw the baba's whole body was full of stings no ordinary person can quietly bear the stinging of a swarm of honey bees all of them started thinking that maharaj must be in pain seeing their plight sri gajanan maharaj gave a smile and took a deep breath at once all the stings fell out of his body in hundreds in this case when the sadguru did was to take on his own body the pain of the honey bees stings and not allowing his children to suffer after a short stay at khargaon the maharaj returned to shegaon there he moved to the house of one khandu patil His style of living was so ordinary that it was not easy for everyone to make out about the depth of his spiritual personality in the first look. One day about 10 South Indian Brahmins with the intention of earning some money came to Maharaj who was sleeping under the cover of a blanket. Suddenly Maharaj woke up during the recitation and pointed out to the Brahmins that they were pronouncing the Vedas in a wrong manner. Thereafter he himself started reciting Soon the Brahmins realized that Maharaj was a saint of very high spiritual order and prostrated at his feet. Maharaj blessed them all and also gave them dakshina. One day Maharaj went to the Nilakanta temple near the village and desired to stay there. Patil built a palm cottage for him and people started visiting the place. Once a group of Gosains, a type of sadhu claiming to be the disciples of one Brahmagiri reached the place where Baba was staying. The pretentious sadhus demanded halwa puri a variety of food in india and ganja from patil they also told him that by doing so he would get more virtue than by serving a mad and naked person like gajanan maharaj after taking his food just in order to prove his superiority over maharaj the group leader brahmagiri started lecturing on bhagavad gita to draw attention of people he started explaining nainam chindanti shastrani nainam dahati pavakam meaning neither weapons can destroy the soul nor can fire and burn it in spite of his efforts people were found to be collecting around gajanan maharaj who was smoking his chilam clay tobacco pipe sitting on a wooden bed right opposite in brahmagiri his ego was hurt and he became very angry finding absence of proper public appreciation and attention strange are the ways of sadgurus in this situation a strange thing happened the bed on which maharaj was sitting suddenly caught fire as the fire rose up the disciples of maharaj requested him to get off the fire and also started arranging for water maharaj said that neither water would be used to extinguish fire nor would he get out of the fire bed addressing brahmagiri who was enjoying the sight maharaj said since you have been telling people for the last one hour that neither weapon can destroy nor fire can burn the soul please come and prove it by sitting on fire on this brahmagiri did not react but tried to avoid the situation then maharaj asked a physically strong disciple to catch hold of brahmagiri and bring him before maharaj one can well imagine the condition of a pretentious sadhu in such a situation his ego was totally shattered and he repented not only for his behavior but also for his pretentiousness Maharaj pardoned him and advised him on the path to be followed for spiritual upliftment. At last Maharaj decided to say goodbye to his world. He went to Pandarpur and in tears asked the permission to Sri Vithala. Hari Patil was with him. Maharaj told him his decision. Returning to Shegao with shocked state he told all the bhaktas the decision. Maharaj was as calm as Himalayas. Maharaj explained them his thought. showed the place for samadhi and asked all the devotees to come to the mart on ganesh chaturthi day throughout the day maharaj was in happy mood chatted with bhaktas argued them consoled them and assured them that he was and he would be with them forever and in the last asked palabau to sit near him bade all who were there 
and said Jai Gajanan and took his last breath. The Samadhi Mandir was constructed by the devotees of Maharaj. The Sadguru is the universal Guru. He deals with each person at his level of consciousness. He tries to destroy their ego through their superior power in order to evolve that person. Sadguru removes all such limitations of mind and body that are not conducive to the evolution of a soul slowly. What methods in the gross, subtle or mental level the Sadguru may use can never be predicted by anyone. If you like this video, do subscribe the channel.